Hi, David. I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. All right, mate. Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, look up at the top. That coloured bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Underneath that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Now, the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio. And you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, have a look to your left. These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain. Oh, right, okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. They're your adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. That's followed at 8 p.m. by award-winning documentary series. Right, won't be long now till the signal starts coming through from the station. Stay on your toes. All the bigwigs are in tonight because of the election, so we better not make any mistakes. At 9 p.m., sit back and relax with multiple award-winning movie, The Freedom. When you get the signal, select screen one with the vision mixer, and we're ready to go. Oh. Horn of mayonnaise. Mm. Mm. You don't see if you make me grilling Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. Finally, You're trying to kill it. And yet you persist. Going five, five, four. But now, it's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story is tonight. Okay, we're all good. Next is going to be the throw to the news titles on screen two. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Buys Honest Andy's totally independent and corners the flawed market. Top chat. Top chat. And a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Vonderklatch about his new movie, The Medicated. And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on their historic... Right. Button That's two, in three, National two, one, now. Lovely, mate. Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. But first, a bit there, mate. It's a decisive win for advance. The last time we usually get a bit of interference at this time of night, so keep your eye on the machine at the bottom right. All you have to do is keep the green wave in the white bit. You can move it up and down using the scroll wheel. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vague. The opposition parties have all conceded defeat to advance's overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. However, former Home Secretary... Right, it's going well. All you've got to do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early or we'll all get fired. Now, the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one at the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. To hear the co-leaders accept this. And three, two, up. one, advert. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need you to fill after the ads. What? Why? Wanker Snatch is running late. Oh. I thought I'd ask him about the election. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, I 
that's the same policy we use with you. Well, I thought that was our little sure, secret. Sorry, on the doesn't take. remember a anything at all. I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. Visit picturesque yeah. Bromley this summer and experience a holiday that's simply... Wicked. We made it to the first ad break. You're doing great, mate. But this is where it starts getting a bit trickier. This next sequence is what we call a multicam sequence because you're going to be cutting between multiple cameras to keep things interesting. A lot of it's down to personal taste, but here's three good rules of thumb. One, try and keep the shot on whoever is doing the talking. Two, don't stay on the same shot for too long, 10 seconds at the most. So if you're on the person who's talking, try and throw in the odd reaction shot or pull out to the wide shot for a bit just to keep it interesting. Three, don't stay on reaction shots for too long. A couple of seconds is usually enough. Then the audience want to see who's doing the talking, yeah? Stick to these rules and you'll be fine. It's not as complicated as it sounds. You've seen programs on television, haven't you? Make it look like those. Might as well get screen one selected now. No need to wait for the broadcast to start. Try and stay ahead, mate. We're coming back from the break. Quiet in the studio. Thank you so much. Ten seconds, everybody. Going in five, four, three. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Back to Later, we'll be hearing from Shock Election winners Later, advance. But first off, we're going to go to Megan on Twitter. screen four. Megan Wolf is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today, I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare to the Right, go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is a moment... Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say having you here with us? Screen two now! Screen two! So right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. Which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Yes. Well, well, as I said like? to Peter, well, the rat, said that's to Peter, Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. He's a wonderful jazz. Lovely. Now back to Thunder I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly worked successful. So. Get I back to who's there. talking. What a wild ride this has been. What a wild you know what, ride this has been. I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Absolutely Was that a challenge right. a at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was a true story of one soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, honestly, who's counting? It's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards, although those three little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. So, if you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Oh, that is a beautiful question, Megan, and not easy to answer. Like you, like you, I'm afraid, cut me and I will bleed. And, and often bleed. that's how it feels, often. doesn't it? That's how it doesn't feels. it? Bleeding, doesn't it? Giving, bleeding. suffering Give for one's audience. Suffering for one's audience. I suppose in the end I do it for the difference it I makes. suppose in the end I do it. I do it for the people that I inspire. I do it for the people. The little that I people. Inspire. But most of all, I think I do it for the positive but change all, that I, I can I bring about in the world. And Get on the speaker, today, mate. Of course, uh, we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well. <laughs> well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to not fuck things up. Shit, he swore. 
Oh, oh, well, don't worry, you won't do it again. Sorry, I said fuck. Shit, you did it again. Okay, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the break. Medicated, which opens next week. Right, they've swapped the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Exciting stuff. Oh, looks like Blunder Clatch is losing it in the studio, but we ain't got time for that now because there's more interference coming in, and this time it's a 